For many, the job of a mechanic repairing and working on damaged cars is perceived as a man's job. Here at the fortified Maction Bay, Luzira Prison, is Lydia Nekesa, who is an assistant superintendent of prisons. She's a mechanic responsible for repair of vehicles and trucks, also heads the department. According to Nekesa, she started this job 17 years ago after she joined Uganda prisons. Nekesa broadens her smile, expressing her love and passion for the job. I knew very well that the prior, what we are supposed to do exactly in prisons is to is safe custody of inmates. But alongside that, they carry out agriculture, they carry out farming. And Uganda is an agricultural country. She then enrolled at the Agriculture Training Institute, which was then the National Agriculture College as a student. And when I was interested in agriculture, prior to joining prisons, I did a mechanical course in agriculture engineering. So when I looked, when I was looking for where can I really exploit my talent, where that's what I felt most. I loved mechanization by nature. That's because I grew up with boys. I was the only girl and I grew up with boys. Lydia narrates how amongst all the vehicles she loves working on and repairing tractors. That you use a diff for running. For it a diff, yes. What is, what is comprised of it majorly are things which operate a plow. Run with all the ease. She took us through the testing workshop. This is where all the tractors for farming purposes are tested from. For Nekesa this month, March, comes with a lot of work as it's the planting season. This is the time when you see all lorries, all vehicles, all everything which is mechanically running that it requires that attention. For some of the small vehicles and lorries, this is also a norm for her. Nekesa does not only repair but also supervises other people and has now started training others. We move the oil and then we cut out service. When you check around the so it's that ladies have also got inspired in this and yeah. they're enjoying yeah. the mechanical bit of it. Let's talk about your family. Uh, yes. Probably your husband and then your children. Uh, how does your husband take this and what about your children? In a field which requires commitment, by nature it inconveniences him. It really inconveniences him because there's a time when vehicles are stuck on the road, they're being called at night, they need rescue. You have to give a theoretical version for the driver to do what you want. Say that comes off the road. My children, they will ask you, Mommy, again, have you gone? Mommy, you have gone. Mommy, at what time are you coming back? But you feel it and you feel it, but you tell them, you know, I'm going to look for fees. And they will understand it. Nekesa believes some of the women despise this kind of work, especially those that look at it as a dirty job. Only that when they look at it from outside, since our work, you know, ladies, is bread and butter, yeah. bread and <laughs> butter, you see? So yeah. it becomes... I have done it for so long, but every other time you do it and someone comes to see it, it is new. Yet it's not new and it shouldn't be new. Nikiza hopes to further her skill on the job by appreciating the value of technology in executing her job. Because as the new models keep coming in, it means, one, practically you are feathering, isn't it? As the world celebrates World Women's Day, this is her message. All the other days we underrated. No, it's that it's a special consideration for us and for us to come out and really show what we are to the rest of the world and that we can be helped to either come up or to be put in different sections. More research on NTV.